three, two, one. Hello, robot. Hello, everyone. I'm Leon from Nanyang Polytechnic, and thank you for joining us today for the reopening of NYP Center for IT Innovation. The centre has been established at NYP since year 2000 where it has served as a launch pad for major industrial collaborations and cutting-edge R&D projects between industry partners and our NYP students. The centre was closed earlier this year for a major revamp to ensure that it continues to serve as a platform where staff and students can work on real-life projects and remain at the forefront of the ever-changing IT landscape. Today, after six months, we are proud to unveil and launch our new Centre for IT Innovation. But first, let us hear from some of our NYP alumni and see how they feel about the new Centre. The Centre for IT Innovation was a fun and memorable place for me. Holding, mingling with my peers, it brings me great nostalgia when I think about those times as a poly student. We often talked about what cool stuff everyone was doing and how was their project progressing. Despite doing different projects, everyone helped each other in terms of improving code or debugging. For my FYP, I was tasked with creating a video broadcast management platform system for an SME company. It was my first time developing the system in a programming language I was still unfamiliar with. But through my own research, practice, and with guidance from my project mentor, Miss Novita, I was awarded distinction for my work. I owe a lot of thanks to my peers, teacher, and staff from school. I can still remember clearly which lab I worked in when I was seated back then. The center was like our second home where we spent most of our time. Not only did we work on our project, we had a lot of fun too. Back then, the facility was rather basic but sufficient for our projects. The lab was open concept where we sat across tables for our own batchmate. That enabled us to help each other out, coming together to debug when we couldn't resolve it by ourselves. It was an eye-opener to see the many other types of interesting projects that were ongoing in the same lab. Our knowledge was definitely expanded beyond the scope of our own projects. My project at the Centre for IT Innovation was about building a chatbot for the NYP website to assist in answering queries about learning advisories and course recommendations. It was my first exposure to a real-world project. Having no prior knowledge or experience in chatbot implementation, I had to learn on the job and it helped me to grow immensely. It was also a joy to work with my supervisor who inspired me to collaborate as a team and make things happen. I'm truly grateful for the many first time that the school had given me, which helped me to grow and became stronger as a person, prepping me well for the life in university. Thank you to our alumni. Indeed, the new Centre for IT Innovation will continue to ensure that our staff and students are to be kept closely informed with the technological advancements. It will also serve as an incubation zone for creative ideas. This will enable NYP students from the different schools and diplomas to come together to collaborate, develop capabilities and to promote the concept of borderless integration within the entire Polytechnic. Today, we will look at some of the innovation work that is being done at the centre in the fields of artificial intelligence, software development, analytics and cybersecurity. We shall talk to some of our NYP lecturers and students next to find out how the centre has helped them in their innovation journey. We will also hear from our industry partners to find out how their experience was working with our NYP students. The issues of AI governance and fairness are also more important than ever and we are likely to see more innovation in this area over the next few years. Electricity has transformed almost everything 100 years ago. AI is going to be pervasive and become the new electricity in future. We have worked closely with the industry for various AI solutions. AI will continue to progress and we are likely to see wide adoption of AI 
especially in the healthcare sector. This is due to the growing demand to reduce rising healthcare costs, coupled with more and more cross-industry partnerships. With their knowledge in AI and IT, our students are primed to start their career in this exciting growth area and contribute to our digital economy. The learning experience has been extremely beneficial for me as it has improved my problem-solving skills as well as expanded my creativity. My collaboration and communication skills have also improved through working as a team with my groupmates. These skills will be even more crucial when I join the workforce and can be put to good use in a competitive work environment. My final year project is a facial recognition attendance system. The project requires my group and I to create our own version of a console that is linked to a device that uses facial recognition to capture the attendance records for our target users. Some technologies involved are development environments such as Visual Studio, SQL Server, React and Node.js, and even UiPath, which is a robotic process automation tool that can assist us in performing repetitive tasks. Our company chose to work with NYP because of NYP's commitment to work together on projects in new, exciting areas such as augmented reality and artificial intelligence. And many of Anaco's smart city projects involve these areas. We are constantly building up our AI capabilities, but we have still found much to learn from the staff at NYP. Unlike usual software engineering, AI and ML is a relatively new area and everyone is exploring how and where we can apply these benefits. It's great to see so many students who are very talented, passionate and very capable in technology at their age. Working with NYP has been a rewarding experience for Anaco in many ways. Being able to work and complete projects together, to learn and share experiences together and to be able to nurture the next generation of technology leaders. We certainly look forward to our continued collaboration with NYP moving ahead. The adoption of data analytics is growing at a faster pace than ever. Companies are embracing data analytics to digitize and transform their businesses. Data analytics is used for decision making and strengthen their business to increase productivity. Companies have to keep up with changes and meet with the growing demand for accurate and actionable data analysis to obtain new perspectives and solutions. More companies will embrace data analytics in their businesses and the adoption of machine learning and AI will eventually empower them to explore new grounds and identify new opportunities. We are likely to see a fundamental shift of more companies implementing data analytics. With the increased demand for qualified and trained IT professionals, all students are highly qualified with the relevant skill set required by the industry. They will contribute well as data analysts across different sectors. Working at the Centre for IT Innovation allowed me to pick up many things that I was not exposed to before, and I can see how I can apply them in my future work. My project focuses on web listening, which is the technique of letting software monitor and analyze content on social media sites, so as to gather and extract insights. Our objective was to identify topics raised around myopia, especially in children. From this project, I have learned more about web scripting using the Python programming language and natural language processing, text processing techniques such as tokenization and lemmatization, and text analytics machine learning techniques such as topic modeling and sentiment analysis. The NYP management and teaching staff continually think ahead to keep their curriculum fresh and relevant to the workplace. It is rewarding to work with the course managers and educators at NYP in shaping industry-relevant content. Now, every year, groups of talented NYP students undergo industry internships at SAS and with our industry partners. Our experience with them is a testament of the preparedness and workplace readiness which NYP enables. Dedication by educators to impart knowledge and skills, at the same time a genuine desire by the students to learn and do well. I have observed both at NYP, a quality institution for higher learning. I see a lot of potential when these ingredients come together. Now let's work together to kick this up a few notches by connecting greater cross-industry relevance.
Malaysia's cyber activities are on the rise alongside the increased digitization brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. Therefore, there will be strong demand for cyber skills in the market. While advanced technologies like data analytics and artificial intelligence are being applied to strengthen the cyber defense capabilities, technologies alone cannot solve the problem. People will play an equally important role. Moving forward, the education of cybersecurity awareness and data privacy practices, as well as more advanced cyber skills, will continue to be in demand across organizations in different sizes and different sectors. Besides learning through our coursework, our students hone their practical skills through active participation in projects and competitions. Such learning platforms allow them to graduate from the course with a strong foundation enabling them to acquire more advanced skills and progress further in the ever-evolving cyber landscape. At the Centre for IT Innovation, I'm able to apply what I have learned in my studies, such as the software development life cycle and user experience design. We also had many opportunities to hone our presentation skills learned in the communication and project modules. Designing an application from scratch and presenting it to your users for feedback has enabled me to integrate all these concepts and skills, something which would be very useful in my future career. Currently, we are preparing to operationalize a cyber range system. This system will serve as a platform for students to conduct penetration testing. The objective of the project is to create an application to simplify and automate the configuring of the cyber range system. I was also tasked to create practical guides for the students practicing on the cyber range. Since 2013, Splunk has worked with NYP with the aim to equip future tech talents with the required skills and knowledge to meet the demands of the future workforce for Singapore to remain globally competitive. Since then, we have truly gained momentum in our shared goal. Some of our shared achievements include the launch of the Diploma Plus program, which allows students to attain Splunk certification as well as incorporating the use of Splunk technology and enterprise-grade solutions in the school's cybersecurity curriculum to ensure students receive industry-oriented training. Every semester, more than 50% of our students are involved in software development projects where we customize turnkey solutions for companies that support their digital transformation journey or business processes. The solutions we develop range from full admin stack development, native mobile applications, hybrid apps, cloud applications, microservices, and more. Our Agile and DevOps curriculum also equips our students with modern software engineering techniques and practices so that they can develop and deliver software at a rapid pace when they join the industry. My final year project journey was one of the main highlights throughout my three years at NYP. Collaborating with my teammates and with the support of my project supervisors, I got out of my comfort zone to really learn and explore new things even when it was challenging at the start. I became more confident when presenting to clients and was able to communicate better. What we did was an immersive and interactive virtual heritage tour. We collaborated with CPIB to design and develop a mobile web-based application that transformed visitors' learning experience about CPIB and anti-corruption. Other than implementing the use of web VR for the virtual gallery, I was responsible of converting all content in the physical gallery into bite-sized digital information so that users can retain the content more effectively. That's when I picked up various software, such as Articulate Storyline, to redesign the content of the Virtual Heritage Tour, as well as other software to come up with a virtual learning map, which is a lot more interactive and engaging for the users. Digitalization is the key focus for the National Youth Council, and we're very glad to have the support of staff and students from Nanyang Polytechnic. NYP has a deep understanding of the processes and challenges in public service agencies and a proven track record in supporting digital transformation. The staff supporting us are dependable and professional, with industry experience on process redesign, project management and the latest automation technology. NYP students are highly adaptable learners. They support our automation projects, picking up new programming languages to support our business needs. We are still on our transformation journey 
and hope to continue this excellent partnership with NYP to deepen our automation capability and explore new technology to support our operations. Thank you very much to our lecturers, students and also industry partners for sharing with us the current work that is being done at the centre. What are some of the exciting plans ahead that SIT students and our industry partners can look forward to? Let's find out from none other than Mr. Dennis Ng, Director of School of Information Technology in NYP. From our recent IT sectorial roadmap update, we have seen how companies today are accelerating the rate of their technology adoptions, especially in the area of software development, AI, analytics and cybersecurity. With increased digitalization, companies are also implementing digital solutions that span across different IT sectors to advance their business processes. This is in sync with how we have equipped our students and staff with an agile mindset and an op-tech integration strategy, enabling them to take on projects that are multidisciplinary. We have endeavoured to stay highly relevant with industry development and will continue to do so. With such strong support from our industry partners, staff and students, we look forward to achieving greater heights in time to come. Thank you, Mr. Ang. It has been very inspiring indeed. The future sounds exciting for SIT students and we look forward to them making an impact in the IT industry. With that, we have come to the end of today's program. For more information, please visit this website. Once again, I'm Leon from Nanyang Polytechnic MC Club. Thank you. Sorry, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. They will. I'm going to see you.